Hi, I am Dr. Ilan Kumaran, corneal transplant refractive and cataract surgeon. I am the medical director of Navashakti Netralaya, situated on outer ring road, HBR layout 5th block near Nagavara flyover, Bangalore. The eye can be divided into anterior segment and posterior segment or in simple words, the front part of the eye and the back part of the eye. The place where this division occurs is the normal crystalline lens of the eye. So the part which is behind the lens is called the posterior segment. Posterior segment of the eye consists of the retina and the choroid, which is supported by the vitreous humor. A vitreous humor is nothing but a, it's a jelly-like clear transparent substance which allows light to pass through the eye so that it reaches the retina. In normal cases as I told you it is jelly like but as we age say around 45-50 this jelly like nature is lost it becomes liquefied so and the liquid component is absorbed by the eye and leaves behind certain solid components. Commonly, the patient notices this as floaters and complains that some flies are moving around, dust is there inside the eyes. Or he just notices that there is a change in the floaters pattern in the eye. Remember, all of us have floaters, very small floaters, but if it increases, patient complains. This leads to what is called as posterior vitreous detachment. It's a vitreous detachment usually starting from the posterior surface. Most of the times this is harmless. All of us have to go through this with age. You few people who have high minus number that is myops or who have had trauma to the eye, injuries to the eye or some inflammatory conditions to the eye like we call it as uveitis or post-surgery. These are the patients who might have a vitreous detachment or sinaresis earlier in life. Now all these patients should undergo a test called indirect ophthalmoscopy. Like I told you, most of the times it's harmless, but sometimes it can cause what is called as vitreomacular traction or retinal holes leading to retinal detachment. Both these conditions are vision threatening and have to be treated in the early stages. If it is a retinal hole, we just do a simple laser, it's called laser barrage and seal the hole. If it is a vitreomacular traction or retinal detachment, then we have to do vitreous surgery and relieve the traction or settle the retina. But most often, like I said, more than 95 to 98% of the cases, vitreous sinaresis is harmless.